Hey guys, Dustin Miller here from Iron Mafia Barbell. Um, I've just been busy here lately this past week and stuff, so I ain't got to your Q and A's uh, till now. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer a couple of them for you. I've been helping Jesse Rogers out with the meat, help judging and stuff uh, in Tennessee this past weekend. So I'm sorry about that. Um, and I'll try to get my face a little bit better in this one. Uh, I know it was dark in my last one. Had a couple complaints a little bit, but that'd be fine. Um, it was just 10 minutes long. I didn't want to redo it all over again after I seen that. So I'll just go ahead and get to these. Uh, one of my good friends on uh, Instagram, Eric Johnson 17 uh, just wants to know what supplements I take. I don't really take a lot of supplements, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, I just don't, something I don't really do. Uh, for this, I take some BCAAs and um, take a cell mass. I'm getting ready to lead up to a meet on uh, in about 16, 17 weeks or so. So I'm on, I usually get on some weight gainer. Uh, I'm going to get some gainer 7 this time. Uh, it hurts pretty good. My brother and a couple of them have been on it uh, in the gym. They really like it and see some results off of it. So um, I just really don't take a lot of supplements and stuff. It's just something I never really got into and stuff like that. Another question, what's my opinion on supplements and uh, do I agree that people are always wanting the latest and greatest uh, supplements or is it wasting their time? In my opinion, uh, most supplements out there don't waste your money on them. Uh, it's just all a big old money racket in my opinion, um, you know, unless it's like protein and stuff like that. Uh, everything you go into, GNC and stuff like that, uh, it's the best product out right now. You can see it on every label. It's just something I don't ne didn't ever get into and don't really like uh, going to wasting uh, a lot of money on stuff like that for something I don't really need to take or anything like that. But I do take, you know, some protein here and there and stuff like that, um, just to, you know for recovery and stuff like that after my workouts. I feel like it's it helps me out a little bit. Um, another uh, question I have um, out of the three lifts, which lift uh, have I brought up the most? Uh, and what do I think played the biggest part uh, as training uh, goes for bringing up that lift? Uh, me, my squat. Um, from meat to meat, I went into it. Um, the meat before last, I hit a 600 pound uh, squat. Uh, then my last meet here uh, on February 2nd, I hit a 715 squat. It was a 115 pound meat PR. Um, but it just didn't happen in a matter of, you know, a couple of training cycles or anything like that. Took a little bit of time off, you know, to let my body recover. Uh, work on some of my weak points. Um, I think that's the best thing that I ever did for myself. Just take a little bit of a time off and just work on your weak points. Build some stuff up that you can tell, you know, that's lagging on uh, with your body. And uh, Paul's squats and stuff like that has really helped me out a lot. So I'm going to have to say it's my squat, you know, since it's a 115 pound meat PR. Um, but my bench and stuff also did come up as well. So um, I'm real happy with my bench right now as long as it keeps coming up for me. Um, Another question uh, from Can't Handle This on Instagram. What's my opinion on steroids? I don't care. Uh, if you want to do them, do them. If you don't, don't. Um, I like watching big weight being pushed around. You know, the stronger guys are more fun to watch, obviously. Um, do what it takes to, you know, get to the level you want to be at in the sport. Um, you know, I know a bunch of guys that hate on it, this and that. You don't have to work for it. Um, I'm pretty sure you still have to work your ass off in the gym, you know, even if you do take stuff like that. Um, but that's just my opinion. I don't really care if you're on it or not. I'm not going to hate on you if you're doing it. I'm not going to hate on you if you're, you know, you're not doing it. Just do what you want to do. Uh, get your results. I mean, whatever it takes, my opinion. Um, another one from uh, my Facebook friend, I guess I'm saying her name right, Ace Jones. Uh, cutting weight for meats. Uh, and if you're close, what do you think about it? I think if you're close, to your weight like I was going to do last time um, two three to four pounds cut the weight I mean unless you're just having a real hard time cutting the weight and stuff like that uh, but just do go by your body uh, I'm basically done cutting weight for a little while unless it's in between five to six pounds or something like that for a meat uh, I don't really feel the need to cut weight anymore I hit my elite total uh, 198 and I would have hit it uh, if I was 242 uh, at this last meet too, I mean, uh, but I went into 220. Um, after you get your elite total, why cut weight? I mean, what's the point? Just go after a big total. That's what matters in the sport. I mean, unless you're going for a world record or, you know, something like that, who cares? I mean, um, I can see if you're cutting for a world record, I mean, it's a world record, but um, 
98% of the people ain't going to be hitting a world record. So why do you want to cut the weight, hurt your body? Um, and, you know, you could have got a, a lot bigger total if you didn't cut the weight. Um, you just dehydrating yourself and stuff like that. So um, I just really don't get it anymore. I used to think the same thing. Uh, I used to cut 16 pounds, you know, to 198 because uh, I'd get up so much. And uh, after a while, just like I know what I'm doing to my body now. It's who cares, you know, what I do at 198. Go up and hit a, a lot bigger total at uh, 220 or a 242. I mean, that's just my opinion, you know. Uh, but some people like cutting weight. Uh, me, personally, I don't have trouble much cutting weight at all. It don't bother me that bad. Uh, but I still don't want to do it to my body. I just want to go after a bigger total. Um, another one uh, from David. Uh, have I ever been sick leading into a meet? Uh, and what point? And what point is it better to uh, rest and to push through a workout? Um, I've never really been sick leading into a meet, so I really can't tell you that. Uh, I do know my brother Mark. Um, he had a meet. Um, it was one of his last meets as he did uh, a couple months back. Uh, he he was real sick leading up to the meet. Lost a lot of weight. Um, was still sick the day of the meet. Um, he still hit went in hit a 2,005 pound total I think just for a five pound PR. Um, you know do what you got to do to you know turn your total. Uh, it's how bad do you want it? My opinion. Um, me myself, um, if I was leading up to a meet and I was sick, I'd still go in, do it, you know, just for the experience and stuff of the meets. Uh, it really helps out when you've got a couple meets up under your belt, even if you're sick or have a bad day. Uh, I've had a couple bad days myself at a meet. I had one real bad meet. Um, I just quit, didn't even do my last deadlift just because I felt horrible that day, but I still went and did the meet and uh, I didn't do great, but you know, I still did it and uh, stuff like that. But workouts i think if you're sick go push through them you know even if you don't if you're supposed to do a max rep that day or you know whatever you got to do uh, i don't feel like you should do max effort a day that you feel horrible on um, i really don't feel that but just go in even if you do flush work work some of your muscles you're not going to lose strength that much strength by not working out a couple days um, just go in you know hit some flush work do some accessories and stuff like that but just don't skip the day total I mean unless you feel that bad or unless you got another day to make it up during that uh, week when you're training the cycle and stuff like that um, but I just don't cut the workout short I mean just go in push through do what you got to do again it's just all in how bad you want it and that's just my opinion um, I'll be doing uh, some more of these uh, Q&As later on, uh, probably do another one later on in the week. Uh, so if you have any more questions or anything um, that you'd like to ask, just feel free to ask me. I'll talk about anything. I really don't care. Um, thank you and have a good day.